Welcome back Savages to another video. In this video we're going to be unboxing and testing this Bacowan mini PC. So I was on the market for a new mini PC for some upcoming crypto projects I'm going to be working on. So usually there's three things I look for in a mini PC. Number one, the spec. Number two, I like it to be as silent as possible. And number three, power consumption. So we're going to be looking at all three of those things in this video. So first of all, let's start with the unboxing. So it comes in a solid black box. Got the Bacallan logo on there and just says mini PC portable design. So it's got the Intel sticker just here. We turn it around, you've got the on off switch just there. There's a few cutouts there, presumably for heat dissipation. Three USB slots there, I think those are USB 3 because of blue and you've got a black one there so that'll be probably USB 2. Turn it one more time so you're going to get the power adapter that goes in there. There's another USB 2 slot right here. So it's got dual HDMI outputs right there. There's an Ethernet LAN port as well which is good and then there's an auxiliary mic connector right there. And there's another cutout just here on this side and presumably on the other side just to allow for ventilation. But yeah, very slick, very compact. I like the look of that. Let's see what else is in there. Next up, you've got the mains adapter. It doesn't come with any other connectors for Euro or anything. I think this is just for the UK. So that's the connector right there. You've got a HDMI cable included as well. So you've got the instructions as well and finally a plate and I guess this is just a mounting plate if you wanted to mount it on a wall somewhere. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just connect it up in headless mode so basically just plug it in connect it up to the power monitor because in true form you're going to have it connected up usually without any devices and you can just connect to it remotely for some of these crypto projects. So it's using as little electricity as possible. So just with the plug connected to the unit without it being switched on at all, it's using 1.1 watts of power. And that's the equivalent to 0.011 amps. I'm just going to lift it up to see what the noise level is like. So I can't actually detect any sound whatsoever, so it's near silent in operation, which is brilliant. So when you're setting up the Bowen Mini PC for the very first time, you probably want to connect a monitor, keyboard and mouse. So I just want to give you an idea of what it's like when it's got Windows loaded and then you've got all these items connected to it. And as you can see, just standing idle without doing anything with Windows 11 loaded, it's only using about 12 watts of power, which is incredible. So let's just quickly go ahead and see what the spec is according to Windows. OK, so the first item to note is the operating system, Windows 11 Pro. Next up is the processor. We've got an Intel Celeron N5105 clocked at 2 gigahertz it's got four cores physical memory installed eight gigabytes for the audio device it's just a usb audio device generic for the graphics it's using intel built-in hd graphics so moving on to the network adapters it's got a real tech wireless lan also looks like it's got bluetooth so the ethernet adapter it's got on it looks like it's also a real tech as well as you can see it's idling around about 12 watts of power so what I'm going to do is just disconnect each one of these devices, just leaving the unit itself. So if you were ever going to connect this up on a crypto project, for example, the chances are you're not going to need a keyboard and mouse. You can just remote onto the desktop itself. So let's disconnect everything and just see how much power it uses when it's not got these devices connected. So first of all, let's disconnect the mouse. This one here. Hasn't really made much difference. So next up, keyboard. It's dropped about half a watt, so it's down to about 11.5 watts. So next up, we're going to disconnect the monitor. So first of all, I'm going to take out the HDMI. And the next thing I'm going to take out is the USB power for the monitor as well, which is that cable. So as you can see in headless mode, it's only using seven watts of power while idle in Windows. How good is that? To be honest, for me, it's a real winner. I've tried using the mouse around in Windows and going to a few apps in the meantime, and there's absolutely no lag whatsoever. It's super fast. There's absolutely no sound coming from that. It's completely silent. 
So that's a winner as well. And as you can see, just using seven watts of power. So if you're on the hunt for a Windows based mini PC that uses just seven watts of power, I don't think you can look any further than this. So I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy this Bowen PC. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you savages on the next one.